Arthur Turns Green by Mark Brown. Arthur's class was working in the school garden when Mr. Ratburn began to explain their next class project. Let's call it the Big Green Machine, he said. Your job is to find ways to make our planet a better place to live. We'll present all your ideas at school family night. On the way home from school, Arthur and his friends talked about their projects. I'm thinking garbage, said Buster, because I love food, and when you don't eat food, it turns into garbage, so maybe I need to eat more. I'm going to sell my old clothes so other people can use them, said Muffy. Then I can buy new clothes. I'm going to collect soda cans and return them for the deposit, said Binky. I can use the money to save polar bears. What's your project, Arthur? His friends asked. Arthur just smiled. You'll see, he said. At home, Arthur walked around the house, making notes and talking to himself. Why are you acting weirder than usual, asked D.W. The big green machine was all Arthur said as he unplugged his mother's cell, his mom's cell phone charger. After dinner, Arthur changed the light bulbs in three lamps. He changed the light bulbs in three lamps to bulbs that save energy. At bedtime, he took the shortest shower ever and shut off the water while he brushed his teeth. Then Arthur came in to say goodnight to D.W. and turned off the lights while she was still reading Fluffy the Very Special Unicorn. The next day, Arthur and his friends stayed after school to work on their projects. Is that a picture of your house? asked Buster. Yes, said Arthur. I found things I can do to save energy in almost every room. Arthur was late for dinner. You owe me big time, said D.W. I had to sit at the table and that's your job. Sorry, said Arthur. I had a deal with the big green machine at school. Then D.W. noticed Arthur's green hands. That machine is turning Arthur green, she thought. At bedtime, D.W. found lots of new plants in her room. She heard odd noises coming from the garage. A shadowy figure was sneaking through the yard. Things are really getting creepy around here, she thought. The next morning at preschool, D.W. worried about Arthur. The big machine is turning my brother green, D.W. told her friends. You're making that up, said Tommy and Timmy. I am not, said D.W. Come over to my house after school to see for yourselves. Late that afternoon, Buster helped Arthur and his dad work in the garden. You really have a green thumb, Arthur, said dad. Me too, joked Buster. I'm still green from working on our projects. Wow, said Tommy, Arthur's is turning, is really turning green. Look, said Timmy, so is Buster. Somehow the big green machine turns everyone green, said D.W. At dinner, Arthur set the table with cloth napkins instead of paper ones. When his family finished eating, he checked his watch. Time to go, he said. Go where? Asked D.W. Dad's helping us with the big green machine at school, Arthur explained. See you later. See you later, alligator, said Dad. Oh no, thought D.W. Not Dad, too. That night, D.W. dreamed about a big green machine that ran through the town, turning everyone green. Then it chased her. She woke up just in time. She went down for when she went down for breakfast, D.W. gasped. Dad's hands were green, too. Tonight is family night at school, said Arthur. I'll show you how we can have the big green machine right here at home. I can't go, declared D.W. I feel sick, real sick. But D.W. didn't have a temperature 
So that night, the whole family went to Arthur's school. Just before they went in, D.W. suddenly grabbed Arthur's arm. Help me, cried D.W. I don't want the big green machine to turn me green, too. It's not what you think, said Arthur. Follow me. The big green machine is the name of our class project. It's about all the things we can do to save the planet, said Arthur. Oh, well, why didn't you say so, said D.W.? Mom smiled and gave Arthur a hug. Then D.W. read Arthur's poster out loud. The big green machine, turn your house green. One, find ways to reuse things rather than throwing them away. Two, turn off your computer at night and use the sleep mode when not in use. Three, unplug cell phone chargers when not in use. Four, use cloth napkins instead of paper ones. Five, plant a tree to celebrate a special family event. Six, walk, carpool, ride your bike, or take a bus to school. Seven, turn off lights when no one needs them. Eight, turn off the water when brushing your teeth. Nine, take short showers and turn off the water while soaping. Up. Oh. Ten, use fluorescent light bulbs. Back at home, Dad made ice cream sundaes, and then it was time for bed. Arthur and D.W. turned on turned off the water while they brushed their teeth. It's so funny that you thought the big green machine was turning every, everyone green, Arthur laughed. Yeah, it was pretty funny, agreed D.W. Suddenly, everything went dark. Hey, said Arthur, who turned off the lights? I did, said D.W. with a giggle. Looks like I'm turning green, too.